unter den Sternen wandelt. Hallo. Doch ihr wart einst ein Mensch. Ja, und als Mensch, da sagtet ihr, genug. <lacht> Dann brauche ich mehr Erfahrung. Seid gegrüßt, Reisen. Hilfe! Hilfe! <lacht> My name is Philip. I'm on the head of marketing at Cyberith, and today I'm here with Tunjai Chakmak, our CEO. Hello. Um, over the last couple of months, we received a lot of questions of you guys regarding um, the virtualizer and why it is built the way it is. So we thought it's a good idea to just ask the developer of the virtualizer to give us a short breakdown of the virtualizer itself. So that's why I'm here with Tunjai today. Hello. Uh, yeah, the virtualizer consists uh, of three main parts. Okay. Uh, the base plate with the low friction surface, uh, the pillars, and the ring construction. There are linear guides in the pillars mm -hmm. that allow for smooth and quiet vertical movements. This is necessary for crouching and jumping. And in addition to that, the ring construction allows the user to turn around and rotate 360 degrees. Okay. Obviously, what we have in front of us here is the third prototype of the virtualizer. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what are the differences between the second prototype and the third prototype? Um, we felt that rotating inside of the second prototype wasn't as smooth as we wanted it to be. So, we decided to improve the mechanism of the ring construction. Furthermore, we also refined the sensor system that detects the rotation of the user. We've also changed the linear guide system inside the pillars which is now smoother, more quiet, and more durable. On top of that, the new system is lighter than the previous one, so we have saved some weight. Okay. Um, another major improvement is the material that we use now on the base plate. Uh, we were not satisfied with the materials we used in the second prototype. Okay, so why were you not satisfied and what's the difference now? Um, for us, it is very important to have natural walking and running inside the device. So the friction coefficient is now on a level which is ideal for natural movements. Speaking of the base plate, mm -hmm. we received a lot of questions regarding the shape of the base plate. So maybe you could give us some information as to why you decided to use a flat base plate. Mm -hmm. um, when we started developing the virtualizer, we made some experiments with different shapes and also made a motion analysis in the laboratory. And we've also uh, tested the different shapes in action. And we have realized that the flat base delivers the best immersion. Okay. So what would be a disadvantage if you, let's say, use a bowl-shaped platform? Now, if you use a bowl shape, your feet will touch the slope of the bowl earlier than you would expect, creating a discrepancy between what you see and what you feel. And this breaks immersion and pulls you back into, the, into reality. Okay, I see. Um, another question. Earlier you mentioned something about the durability of the device, and I was just wondering what role do the three pillars play in terms of durability of the device? Mm -hmm. Stability is very important for us, so we decided to use three pillars instead of two or just one. Um, the reason is that three pillars absorb the forces and the momentum caused by the user mm -hmm. better than two or just one pillar. Okay. And since you're able to sit down in the virtualizer, uh, we have to make sure that the construction supports the user's weight. And obviously the force is stronger on the, on the virtualizer if you're sitting down in it, right? Yes, exactly. Okay. Um, speaking of the sitting function, obviously you have to be fixated inside the ring 
um, to perform moves like uh, jumping and crouching and also of course to sit down. And I was just wondering, um, does the user have to carry all the weight of the ring construction as well while he does so or do you have a solution for that as well? Um, we have a special construction in the pillars, in the linear guides, okay. which compensates the whole weight of the ring construction so the user doesn't have to carry the weight and doesn't feel anything of the ring construction. Okay, I see. Okay, as some of you might have noticed, there are knobs at each of the pillars. So uh, maybe you could tell us a little bit about them as well. Mm -hmm. uh, the three knobs, what you can see here, uh, fulfill two different purposes. Mm -hmm. One of them is that beginners can lock the ring construction at a certain height, okay. depending on the size, uh, because that helps them getting used to the virtualizer quicker. Mm -hmm. And the other purpose is, uh, after getting used to the virtualizer, they can uh, set the knobs at a lower level for the ceiling function. Okay. Okay, so you have to lock the sitting function at the pillars. Does that mean that you can only either sit or crouch or can you be perform both moves while you're inside the virtualizer? Uh, no, you can perform both movements. Okay. Uh, I think I will demonstrate it. Okay. I'm in the virtualizer now, I can. and the knobs are on a position for my size. Mm -hmm. I can, for example, now sit down and drive a car in the virtual world. Or I can stand up again, I can crouch down, and here we can see now uh, I don't toss against these pillars. Mm -hmm. And this explains the distance, and you can also see I can aim down on this position and this explains the angle of the bar. I have a big freedom of movement while I'm crouching and also while I'm standing. A big freedom of movement. Okay, so one thing you notice about the new prototype is that you've constructed a black bar which is hanging above your head now. Could you maybe explain the reason for it being there? Sure, yes. We call this black bar V-arm and it is constructed because of head-mounted displays and earphones which are wired. Okay. So you can guide the cables over your head and don't get disturbed in the virtual world. Okay. And it is designed that way that you can still aim upwards without tossing against it. I see. So it's for completely unrestricted movement. Absolutely. Okay, I see. Okay, Dunja, I think that's enough for now. Thank you for taking your time off to show us the virtualizer. You're welcome.